service of the New World Order to live or die. They will use death and they use life to accomplish their purpose. I remember years ago when we first came up with the vaccination in the schools, you know, the TV and the polio, sugar cube and what have you. Uh, there was always a hassle uh, between people. What you're hearing is a voice from beyond the grave. We opposed it. As Christians, we refused to have it. And at that time, the law allowed a religious convic uh, conviction. This is Brother Stair. His voice is very much alive, but he is dead. Brother R.G. Stair, or Ralph Gordon Stair, is extremely well known in the world of shortwave radio. More commonly referred to as Brother Stair, the American minister and evangelist broadcast his preaching on shortwave radio around the clock for many years. He's been dead for almost two years, but in the evenings as the light begins to fade and night approaches, his voice appears from the ether on our shortwave radios and thousands of people across the world tune in and listen to his haunting voice. Brother Stair declared himself a prophet and he lived in a community with his followers at a compound in Walterboro, South Carolina. Stair led the Overcomer Ministry, officially incorporated as the Faith Cathedral Fellowship, a conservative Pentecostal Christian organisation which runs a widely heard radio-based ministry. Over the years he was involved in numerous serious controversies that surrounded him and what has been labelled his cult, some of which led to convictions, but we're not here to go into all that. It's all out there on the internet to read. What we're interested in, of course, is the radio side of things. He broadcast from a solar-powered radio studio which is based in the Overcomer Ministry community, often for hours at a time. In the 1990s he could be heard on up to 120 stations, which gave a huge boost to the Overcomer Ministry which he founded in 1978. By the 2000s that number had reduced to around 25. He also started to lease airtime globally on five free-to-air satellites and on seven international shortwave radio stations to send his message to his listeners in the United States as well as many other countries around the world. He also leased time on terrestrial AM and FM radio stations throughout the United States, some of which are wide area coverage stations. In 2016, his broadcast reach was massively increased on the back of a large financial contribution which led to the purchase of hundreds of hours per day of broadcasting time to enable the ministry to become one of the most extensive shortwave broadcasters ever. To this day, the ministry's broadcast expenditures total around $1.5 million per year, which are funded by donations from listeners. In 1993 and 1994, Stair and his ministry were involved in a failed ship-based radio project due to authorities raiding and confiscating both the ship and its equipment before it could even set sail to international waters. In addition to international satellite and shortwave, Stair broadcast worldwide via the internet streaming from the Overcomer Ministries website. Today his ghostly preachings can be heard on many frequencies from transmitter sites all around the world, so let's look at all the frequencies currently used by the Overcomer Ministry and the worldwide network of transmitter sites their broadcasts emanate from. These frequencies are used by the Overcomer Ministry and signals are transmitted from WRMI, a shortwave radio station broadcasting out of Okeechobee in Florida. WRMI is a commercial radio station that sells airtime to businesses and organisations such as the Overcomer Ministry who use one of their 100 kW transmitters. 5130 kHz is used by a WBCQ transmitter at a radio station operating in Monticello, Maine in the United States. The station operates a 50 kW transmitter for Overcomer Ministry programming. Next is a large transmitting station in Kostinbrod in Sofia, Bulgaria. 5900 kHz is one of many frequencies operated from here and this uses a 50 kW transmitter. 9400 and 11600 kHz are used by 100 kW transmitters. 13800 kHz is used by a 50 kW transmitter and finally 15335 kHz is used by another 100 kW transmitter. 
9290 kilohertz is used to broadcast from the Tashkent transmitter facility in Uzbekistan, which contains 19 100 kilowatt transmitters and many antennas, one of which is used by the Overcomer Ministry. These frequencies are used by a shortwave radio station located in Nashville, Tennessee, in the United States, known as WWCR. The station uses four 100 kilowatt transmitters to broadcast programming from the Overcomer Ministry. 9265 is used by a transmitter owned by WINB, a brokered Christian shortwave station licensed to Red Lion, Pennsylvania. The Overcomer Ministry broadcasts programming from here using a 15 kW transmitter. And finally, these frequencies are used by a 10 kW transmitter in Wahl, near Hamburg, Germany. The Overcomer Ministry also uses FM transmitters in certain areas to broadcast programming, and there's also many AM stations across the United States that transmit daily. I hope you enjoyed this look into the Overcomer Ministry's broadcast network. I have to point out that this is in no way promotion for the ministry, but a look at the interesting radio side of things, as I always try to do on this channel. Brother Stair passed away on April the 3rd, 2021, at the age of 87, but his voice lives on day after day on many different frequencies for people to hear around the world. That man is your religious tradition. Did not permit you or allow you to go and kill someone, you could be exempted from combat and the war for the army. All those things have been removed now as they don't want to bring God into the issue at all because they're getting ready to have us worship the God of this world who controls all things. And this is the truth. Vaccination. They tell us now that they should have.